welcome to my youtube channel i am amit and i hope you all are doing great so today in this video we will discuss another android interview question and as you all know this video is a part of the series android interview questions and answers and for that you can find the playlist link in the description below so for today the question is explain the use case of internal visibility modifier in kotlin so now it's time to discuss the answer so whenever we create any project we get this app as a default module but for this example as we are discussing about the internal visibility modifier in kotlin so what we will have to do we will have to create a different module a one more module right so we have the app module and we have another module which is downloader so how we can create the module we can simply click on this right click and we can simply create module like this right and you can just follow the steps and you will end up having this a new module here right so here what is happening our app module wants to use the downloader module so basically app module is dependent on the downloader module so for that what we will do we will add the module here right so we will add as a dependency so downloader module we have added inside the app module so app module will use the downloader module now suppose in the downloader module we have a downloader class in which we have the execute method now we do have download task in which we have the run method but what we want to do so this is like a library right a module and from this module and from this library we want user to use the downloader and these are the internal classes which we do not want the user to access so we want the user to just access the downloader class we do not want the user to access this download task right so that is why what we will do we want these things to be internal right so we just want the user to use the downloader class here what is happening the downloader is using the download task internally and it is calling the run method on that right so what user can do user can simply use that inside the main activity so user will create the object of downloader and they will call the downloader dot execute method on that right so internally it will call the download task and it will call the run method on that right so user should only be able to access the downloader object but what is the issue here what user can do we user can simply create download task here download task as you can see right so that is the issue what we want here we want that user should not be able to create the object of download task because that is not a public api so we want that the user should only be use this downloader object not any other classes right so what we will do here first option is that we can mark it as a private so now another issue will come if we have marked that as a private we cannot access that in the different file so now what will happen we will not be able to access download task inside our downloader class so that is an issue so making that class a private class is not the solution so what we can do we can make it as internal now what will happen it will work as it is and now if i go to the main activity we will not be able to access the download task object and that will solve the issue so that is what we actually wanted so internal visibility modifier is the solution for that so here what we have done we have marked this download task as an internal class so with this what will happen we will only be able to access the download task in this downloader module not outside of this downloader module so here we have the app module which is different from the downloader module but downloader class is a public class right so this class we haven't marked it as a internal class right so that is how we will be able to access this downloader inside our app module so as you can see here this has solved our issues and that is how we can use the internal visibility modifier in a kotlin project so that is what i wanted to teach today so as you all know that i create many open source projects and i try to follow some of the best practices and so these are the best practices that i want all of you to know because i work on the open source project i get to learn so many things right and from that i got to learn about this internal visibility modifier and i thought that i will create a video on this 
so that you all will know about it right for that you need to keep following my videos and i will keep on creating more videos like this and i hope that you now understand the use case of internal visibility modifier in kotlin so now we know the answer to the use case of internal visibility modifier in kotlin so that's it for now please like share comment and subscribe to my channel and if you want me to create more videos so please let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to do it have a great learning ahead see you in the next video